I'm Rob, welcome to my channel. Dive into vlogs about gay life, adventures in Berlin, Europe and beyond. From everyday moments to travels and meaningful discussions. It's all here. Enjoy the ride? Hit like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Hey guys and welcome to my new video here from the city of Bangkok. I've been here for one week now after leaving the Philippines. I was the whole December in the Philippines, in Chagao and in Bacolot, Negros. And now I'm here in Bangkok for one week and I will stay here for one more week. I stay in a beautiful apartment in Saton, very close to the gay area in Silom. And this is an apartment I want to show you today. And I want to give you some life hacks, travel hacks, how to survive in Bangkok hacks here because I stay one more week. I do a Thai course uh, here at a language school. And therefore I rented this Airbnb apartment in Saton. It looks a bit messy, but just because I'm here for one week and I made some laundry, I wanted to, yeah, to have fresh bed sheets so i just decided to wash them in my own washing machine i also have to uh, get out the trash here and who wants to make my dishes you see it's very yellow i often have mango here but i will tell you more about it later uh, yeah as i said it i'm learning thai here in Suma language school it's around the corner and from them I have this beautiful book and this beautiful bag with the Thai language tone chart. Very interesting. The tones in the Thai language is the most difficult for me in this moment. Because I want to give you some, some life hacks. I've been to Bangkok, I don't know, maybe 20 times now and I want to give you my tips for it. What I would recommend to you, very basic things, very basic things. So for example, for a long, long time in Thailand, I had my uh, first food poison since a very, very long time. And I want to get you some uh, tips how to avoid that. And also give you some tips to save a lot of money while you're here in Bangkok. And the first is, of course, don't choose a hotel. If you stay maybe longer than two nights, maybe choose an Airbnb like this. For me, it has a lot of advantages because I don't eat breakfast at all. So I don't need breakfast and I need my space. You see, I build up this bed because I, I like it very comfortable. Yeah, This is also very comfortable, but as I said, I'm uh, cleaning the sheets right now. Um, I like to have some more space than in a hotel room. This is 70 square meters. This is a lot. I don't need to go out for laundry. I have my own washing machine here. I have a fridge and this is very good, for example, to save money. When I get food outside, uh, for example, some very nice things here, daily mango. And if you buy this mango and you don't cut it, you eat it at home, you can save money because the cut it pieces are always a bit more expensive. I also can store my, oh, my favorite protein shake, vegan protein shake from the 7-Eleven. Uh, I like the Choco one most, but they had this malt um, also. It's very nice. It's tasty and it's very good to, yeah, if you do a lot of sport and need some vegan protein, you can get it from them. So I have also a microwave here and other stuff, all these um, dishes. So, and a mirror, <laughs> yeah, a mirror next to the bed. I don't know <laughs> how you or for what you want to use it. There's also a fan, there's air conditioning, double air conditioning. I have like a um, thing to store my clothes and this is the bathroom. Yeah, nothing special, but clean the toilet, shower, 
towels are also provided or included very nice this is very nice yeah there's also a television I don't need a television when I'm traveling especially not here in Bangkok television is this outside and what I what you see here is that I'm in a very small street there's the biggest street but it's still very very small and it's so quiet here I don't hear a lot I need to say um, but it's still like in this direction for uh, 400 meters is in 7-eleven this direction 300 meters is in 7-eleven so that means I'm still <laughs> very city center very uh, close to every interesting place also close to Silom, which is a gay area and I'm very often there to get my food, to get massage and to meet people there. Yes, and when I want to get to some place here around my maybe like one kilometers or two kilometers of most of the time I don't walk, I take the Grab app, the Grab taxi app and I as a single person mostly use Grab bike. That means when I go to Silom, for example, to the soys where you can find the food the massage and all these gay places for example it's like 50 baht for me to go there yeah you shouldn't be afraid of this because you don't get a helmet from the drivers and sometimes they're very fast but that's very interesting you are going through the bikes and with the normal grab taxi you would pay like three or four times that amount to go from uh, from here to that place. So grab bike is my first um, recommendation to move in Bangkok. If you are a couple or more person, I also recommend the taxi. It's pricier, but of course more safe and with two people, it's uh, also more affordable. The next hack to save uh, some money is, especially when you don't stay too long in Bangkok, then yeah, going to the gym when you have something like an Airbnb or a very cheap hotel where you don't have a good gym then is download an application which is called ClassPass and try the first trail month. It's for free. Normally it's 1,600 like that but and you get like 30 credits to use but the first month is for free so you don't pay anything for the first month and you have uh, 30 credits you can use for several gyms and that's very interesting. Also yoga is included and uh, CrossFit, something like that. I've been to um, two hotel places and I could use the gym and also the pool for 90 minutes to 250 minutes. I was in SO Hotel, which is a very, very good and big hotel here in this area and the Pullman G Bangkok I think a walk in and the Pullman would be like 500 baht and you get it for free but think about if you are doing the train month you can visit one place just once otherwise you have to upgrade for the full membership but I give you a small uh, a tip on my side you can register twice but you need two telephone numbers and I did it with my Thai telephone number I have because you get an OTP um, for the two-factor authentication um, and the first membership was via my Thai number and the second via my German number that was also possible to use it so I could go to the Pullman and to the SO two times but of course there are also other gyms there are normal gyms and um, yeah try that you can save money and uh, to see that why instead of buying a very expensive walk-in. I think the walk-in in SO is like 800 baht, so it's much more expensive. Yeah, and as I told you before, I had like a little food poisoning, which was not for days, but one night was very terrible. So please try to, to avoid that and take my tips. The first tip is I don't use ice. So when people ask me in like street restaurants for ice for some desserts or for some drinks, I don't take it. I refuse that. Um, maybe you can do it at a very safe place like a 7-Eleven or a very safe restaurant. Do it, but I avoid ice. But I also avoid ice in Germany because, uh, you know, you are getting water instead of 
the other thing you ordered. This is one thing. The other thing is you can be safe if you uh, peel products and wash products. If you have like a mango before I peel the mango or I cut the mango, I wash them. Um, and other things when you heat the things also if you eat products from animals like eggs or like meat most of this stuff gets clean when you heat it and in Thai kitchen the things were heated in a very high temperature short but very high and that can make things safe use the fridge and don't store things a long time after you bought them but you have to think about one thing. I'm vegan, mostly vegan, and I thought I, I had a um, very interesting talk with a Dutch German couple a few days ago, and we were talking about veganism and why I'm vegan and stuff like that. And I said, yeah, and also if you are traveling and you don't eat products from animals, you um, the risk of a food poison is much lower because animal products carry a lot of um, bacteria or things like that yeah but the problem is the mixture I've been a few after that a few days later I've been to a place here at the market where I bought some gyoza you know this filled stuff and they had a, a minced meat uh, uh, thing and a vegetable thing and I took the vegetable vegetable and yeah, I think even the gyoza themselves filled with um, meat are safe when they are heated very high. But the problem in this food stand was, is what I think now, after I had these problems and I re yeah, made my thoughts, what, what was wrong with this stuff was that the guy who made the vegetarian um, gyoza also made the minced meat gyoza and yeah, they were heated, no problem, but he used his hands, even with gloves, to put some soy sauce in a very in a plastic bowl, a very small plastic bowl. And yeah, this is not heated. So I think he made some gyozas with minced meat and touched with this hands or even with gloves, this small thing. Uh, a small bowl with some sauce it was soy sauce and some very spicy sauce and i think this was the big problem so watch how people make the food it's also like if you get a pad thai it can be very safe because they heat it with very high temperatures but if they for example after the heating take some um peanuts or cashew nuts and put them on the freshly made pad thai with the same finger or gloves they put the raw meat into the pad thai then this could be a problem so think about it yes but i don't want to make a drama out of it i need to say i'm traveling to thailand and to southeast asia for so many years and i think this is maybe the second or the third time that i had bigger issues so i think in cambodia i had it once but this was a real street, 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 street food like this. And even my friends, my German friends, expert friends there said, oh, you shouldn't eat in Cambodia in that way, like you do it in Thailand, because it's not that safe as in Thailand. So don't be afraid, try things, but watch how the food is made. That's very important. And because of cutting your own fruits with a knife, if you say, Robert, but I don't have a knife in my hotel room, then I can just say, go to 7-Eleven, get a knife, and then you can save a bunch of money. And you can have much more safe food because if you buy a very fresh mango on the market, which is cut, when you're in a hotel after like two hours because you were uh, walking around and shopping, then this could be not as fresh as before. But if you buy the whole one, you can have a very fresh one and you cut it can cut it for yourself at home so you can get a knife everywhere in Bangkok in 7-eleven for example
So now I'm on the hunt of some nice food here uh, next to my Airbnb. And I've been to a massage which had very, very good ratings on Google Maps, but it was so disappointing. Uh, maybe it's also because it's so late, it's uh, seven o'clock in the evening. And maybe the massage lady was too tired, but I had to stop the massage. And this is one big tip I want to give, give you too, because when I started getting Thai massages and I had bad ones, I couldn't stop them. I couldn't stop, say like, oh no, stop it. Because, and then I felt very uncomfortable for one hour at least. And I booked here 90 minutes. So if you have a massage and you don't like it, say that you don't want it. If you are ready for it, you can uh, also try another therapist, for example. But uh, you shouldn't do that just because of being being kind. Give them, I think we did it for five minutes and after five minutes I broke up uh, and I gave her 100 baht. That is fair, I think. So, um, yeah. And right now I'm looking for some food. Want to get some... I think I saw some uh, street market here very close to Lumpini. It, the streets are so full, it's unbelievable. And it's so loud. And I think there, look, there was kind of market of food stands. And I will take a look there. Yeah, maybe I will go to another massage place uh, after food, after getting food, where I'm not too full because I really like to get a massage uh, tonight. And the streets of Bangkok are full as always. This is kind of rush hour here. You can get some shoes, of course you do. And here's the first street food. I'm afraid not a lot vegetarian. but a lot spicy, I think. Oh, I need to say it smells very good, but I think it's not vegetarian. Or maybe some of it, but I, I'm afraid it's very, very spicy. Oh yeah, that seems to be like a market, so maybe I can find something here. It's Most of it, it's for takeaway because I don't, ha don't have any space to where you can consume your food or get your food, Sawade Club. So it looks very nice here. But there are also some tables to eat here. Oh yeah, this could be a nice place to get some food. It's also a street, it's not just a market, it's also a street. <laughs> this is why they call it street food, I think. <laughs> because you eat the, the food right on the street. And I think today I would like to have some very very easy fried rice maybe because of my problems I had in the last days and I, I think rice is something very oh here are a lot of um, a lot of hairstylists too barber I could could get a haircut hmm what do you think so I don't know how many food stands will come around this corner but I will take a look because I didn't found what I wanted right now. I'm sure I'm not sure I have a lot of patio in the last days and maybe I want to have something easy like fried rice with vegetables and tofu or something else. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh we have more restaurants. Yeah let's see. Oh let's see what there in this street. Seems to be a few more things. To discover yeah if you eat meat you can find so many delicious things this is i think a roasted pork belly that looks not so bad and very fresh vegetables i think i think what they are doing here huh but yeah here are really a lot of barbers so maybe the next days i will get a new hairstyle what do you think new color <laughs> which color would you prefer in my hair oh you have much more food here from barbecue and here's oh this is more market style this is what i like let's see if i can find something here's a lot of noodles 
I could be also vegetarian, but I'm not the biggest noodle fan, so I will look on for the right thing. Oh, and I love sweet things, so this looks very interesting, like fried uh, uh, coconut or something with pandan, because the, the green color comes from pandan most of the time. I think I will try one of these for uh, Yisib Bar, with, which means 20 baht, so I'll try it. Yes, for after after the real dinner. I pick one. Thank you, Kapun Kap. Yeah, there are more soups in this direction. Yeah, corn. I don't know what what people why why people do do love corn so much in a cooked way. It's easy. It's cheap, but. I don't like it very much, so... Here more vegetables, eggs, and every various. And this is tamarind. And I think the first time I tried the raw tamarind was in Isan, in Sakonakon. And here we have some more meat. Looks everything really delicious. And here also like medicine. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to know what this what this should be could be like Chinese medicine maybe and lottery here's lottery we can win a lot of money I think I really tried uh, need to try one of these uh, pandan coconut rice cakes mm. very delicious I like it I love it I love them I like this like all this mini rice pancakes in Thai form mm. Very good, but not too much because I want to be very hungry for the big meal. Yeah, it's quite a big choice here. It looks like a pad thai here. Yeah, but it has also egg inside. But it looks delicious. That's so funny because you often can find sushi in Thailand and you see there is no cooling. <laughs> I would never eat this because, uh, yeah, I had a food poisoning. <laughs> but yeah, lots of them eat it and they survive. And we have also some fruits here. And I think I need to get some mango later because I love mango and I don't have any mango at home now, so I need more. Hmm, this looks like fresh honey. That's very interesting. I don't know how fresh it is, but it looks like like honey. Uh, here you can get fish. I don't know if they fish or this fish fish are to eat or for breeding. I, I think they don't eat it. It's more for a hobby. And here you get the inner of the of the chicken. I guess there's some stomach and. Then you have the market here and even on the market there is of course the importance the most important market of Thailand 7-Eleven. <laughs> so very nice. Yeah, even mini pizza is available here in Thailand. Uh, it's not the Italian way, I'm sure, but yeah, people also like pizza in Thailand. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are not too sad that I had to leave the Philippines for this moment. You will see lots of more content from Bangkok and other regions of Thailand and also Koh Phangan. And I can promise I will meet Gringo again in Koh Phangan. So stay here, subscribe to my channel and I would really appreciate if you like this video and leave a comment.